Hello friends, welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning and budgeting. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you along on this journey. In today's video, I have so much to share with you. First of all, I am gonna give a family health update at the end of the video. I've been gone for about two weeks and I just kinda wanna um, just give you more information about what's been going on. But I'm gonna save that for the end of the video for my hardcore, <laughs> my hardcore followers who care about that. If you don't care about that, I to it's totally fine. You don't have to, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna get all the financial stuff out of the way first and then we're gonna move into uh, to some more private details at the end of the video, which will come after the cash envelope stuffing. So we're gonna do, we're gonna close out the budget for week one and two in December, set up the budget for week three, do some cash envelope stuffing, play a savings challenge game, and then I'll give a family update at the end. So a whole bunch going on in this week's video, so let's just get into it. Okay guys, so this year for my budget, I have decided to use an, an Erin Condren planner. This is called the Monthly Planner. And I did do a whole setup video where we set up all these beginning pages together. So um, that was the last video I made. So hopefully you've had a chance to see it. If not, um, you should definitely go check it out. It's one of the most fun videos I get to make all year. Okay, so to start with, Let's take a look at week one and week two. So there were a lot of expenses, um, a lot of unusual expenses, because we've been in the hospital for the last couple of weeks. There was, I was eating at the hospital breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day that Logan was in the hospital. So um, there's a lot of food expenses. We also had, still did our normal grocery shopping, and then we had a lot of mis miscellaneous expenses too, but you know what I think would be best? Let's just go to the monthly spread. Let's go over every expense, okay? So starting with bills. So first of all, we had our normal garbage bill. This was actually a cash envelope that we do, and we put $5 towards garbage. We put $10 towards Alliant Energy. That's also a cash envelope bill that we do. And we put $5 towards WW. Now, um, the that's the last payment to WW because we are no longer doing that. I, WW stands for Weight Watchers, and I'm now working with Nutritionist, which is paid for by my insurance company. So we no longer have that expense. So that was it for that week. So coming down here on the 8th, we again put $5 towards garbage and $8 towards Alliant, but we didn't have the WW bill to pay. We also um, had Google Vi Fi come out over this last couple of weeks. So for the time period that we did, week one for us was December 1st through December 7th, and then week two was December 8th through December 14th. So that's the time period that we're currently looking at. Google Fi came out on the 13th. Google Fi is my cell phone plan that David and I have. This is $55, and this was just for like our the service. We actually own our phones, so that's how much it costs for our two phones for service. And then MetroNet, which is our internet service, it came out on the 13th as well, and that was $99. Okay, so those are all the bills that came out in this time period. Let's take a look at the debt payments that came out. Okay, so our mortgage payment did come out and that was $13.35. So bills and debts, these are our, our fixed expenses and the difference put for, for us, the way we define a bill versus a debt is a debt is something that will eventually be paid off and bills are things that are, are expenses that will always have to be paid. We'll always have to pay for our energy bill, our garbage bill, our internet if we want it, our cell phones. Those are things we're always going to have to pay for. But eventually, someday, mortgage will get paid off, so it is a debt. We also made a payment to our SUV on the 5th for $118. And then loan number two, we make a loan number two payment every week. So on the 5th, we paid $142 towards load number two, and we paid 142 on the 12th. So every Monday, $142 comes out of our bank account automatically and goes towards that debt payment. Okay, so that was it for our, our fixed expenses. Now let's go to the variable expenses. This is where things got really crazy for us. Knock on wood, this is like the craziest it's gonna be all year. 
and the rest of the year will be calm. I feel like we've earned it. I really do. I feel like I've, I've put in my crazy time. Okay, so... So first, um, so the way I did the food expenses, because I did end up eating at the hospital breakfast, lunch, and dinner most days that Logan was in the hospital. So um, I just put all the food expenses on one sticky note for that day. So on the first, we ended up spending, we weren't even in the hospital actually at that point, but we ended up spending $8 at food. So Logan went to the hospital on the 6th, so that's when all the hospital stuff starts. But... On the first, there was $8 that was spent on food. On the second, we spent $16 on food. On the fifth, we had two grocery trips, one to Sam's and one to Fairway, and altogether it was $3.80. And honestly, like this is so ancient history to me at this point in time. So much has happened since that date. I can't even tell you why it was so expensive. I have no idea. Okay, so moving on, on the 7th, so so we're in the hospital at this point. We spent $44 on food on that day. On the 8th, we spent $25 on food. Uh, there were two places for us to eat at the hospital, either the cafeteria or like a coffee cafe place. So was, these are a combination of the two. The more expensive days where we treated ourselves to the cafe food versus the cafeteria food. It was quite a bit tastier. Okay, so then on the 9th, we ended up spending $43 on food. And then on the 10th, we ended up spending $43 on food. It's funny, those two days were the exact same amount. So I don't have any expenses on the 11th. I got this information from my bank statement. I think that there were, but it came out on the 12th. So all together on the 12th, we had a total of 301. So this was probably a combination of the food we ate at the hospital on the 11th, the food we ate at the hospital on the 12th, and then we also had a couple of grocery trips there as well. We did our Sam's Club and our fairway trip. So all together, that was 301 for that day. The 13th, we ended up spending $25 on food. And the 14th, we only spent $8 on food. And then yesterday, we ended up spending $60 on food. So a lot, a lot of food expenses. Um, food has always been a big struggle for the family, but when, you know, just realizing I was just going to have to eat every meal at the hospital, I'm just like, you know what? It's just the way it is right now. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Okay, so gas. We got gas on the 1st, and we spent $20 on that. And then we got gas on the 13th, and we spent another 20 there. So that's right on target for what we like to do for gas. We like to spend about $20 every pay period. So we pay, we're paid weekly in that weird, that weird like Thursday to Wednesday pay period. Okay, so we had several miscellaneous expenses. So first of all, there was a PlayStation expense for $54, and I have no idea what that's for. I'm gonna have to ask Jacob, not Jacob, sorry. He wouldn't, Jacob wouldn't have anything to do with that. It would either be Logan or David. So I have to figure out what that's for, I have no idea. That happened before we went to the hospital. So then, um, while we were at the hospital, in addition to food, I did have to go to their like little shop there a few times to pick up things like chapstick and lotion, like little things that we needed that we just didn't have with us. So um, on the 8th, I went to the gift shop and I ended up spending $5 on some things there. Um, I also spent $5 on the 9th. And okay, so that was it for hospital extra hospital expenses. Um, I did pick up something from Lowe's for $12. And this confuses me a little bit because I remember going to Lowe's after we got out of the hospital. Uh, well, before we could bring Logan home, we had to, to go to Lowe's and we had to get a bunch of things to prepare the house in order to bring Logan home. And that was actually thousands of dollars. And that will be coming in an update. Once I get that statement, we ended up doing a credit card, having to put uh, that on a credit card so we do have new credit card debt but I don't have that information for this pay period so we will start paying off that credit card 
uh, probably in January, I guess, would be when we would finally get that statement and we would know where we are with that new debt. So, but we did have something also for 12 that day. Okay, and I'm not sure why it wasn't on the card with everything else that we got. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay, so we made a purchase at Target for $18. We had a private expense on um, the 12th for $45. And then we had an expense from Amazon for $33. So we had a lot more miscellaneous expenses than we normally do as well. Okay, moving on to spending. So spending is a cash envelope or cash envelopes. We do three spending cash envelopes. One for me, one for David, and one for Logan. That's, uh, I get 20, David gets 20, and Logan gets 10. So that's $50 each. And uh, that was exactly as we budgeted. Whew, thank goodness. All these variations are like making my like, I'm like, my heart is like clenching with all of this like, ah, uh, you know, when we were in the hospital, that was my focus. My focus was being there for my child and making sure he was healthy and safe and loved and comforted. And I didn't really worry about this. So today I'm sitting down and like looking at this for the first time and it hurts and it's going to, you know, we're going to take some time to recover from this, but we can do it. We can do it. Okay, savings challenge. So we did all that in the last video that I made. So we did a, a savings challenge with you guys and we ended up putting $50 towards our goal of saving a $1,000 cushion for our checking account. So that happened that week. And then we also did our sinking fund stuffing that week with you guys for $116. And then this week where we were deep into the hospital, I skipped those items. We didn't spend any money on that at all. So let's go to the budget worksheets and let's see how this is all gonna work out. How are we gonna make this work? So we do our budget in a very unusual way. We have um, this first space here. This is our monthly budget, which is covered, which all of the bills that we cover are covered with David's paycheck. He's paid once a month, he has a fixed income. So we use that to pay off as many of our fixed expenses as we can. So that's bills and debts. So these are all the ones that we can cover with his paycheck. Anything that we're not able to cover, we cover with my paycheck in our week to week budgets, which we will take a look at in just a moment. So we're gonna update this monthly page first. Our mortgage did come out, that was 13.35. MetroNet also came out, that was 99. So Google Fi came out and it wasn't 52, it was actually 55. So the way our cell phones work is basically like we can use them on our internet at home for basically for free. It doesn't cost us anything extra, but outside of the home, anything that we use, like it costs money and then it varies month to month depending on how much we use it. So because we used it a little more outside the home this month, it was uh, $3 more. SUV came out and that was 118. So, so far we are basically on track with our expenses. Everything was exactly as we budgeted, except for Google Fi, which was just $3 more than what we budgeted. Okay, let's take a look at week one and how week one went. So, we budgeted $600 for my income and that's how much I brought in. There was no buy me a coffee this week for that week period. Buy Me A Coffee is a tipping app that my viewers asked me to include in my description box of my videos so that if they want to go in and give us a tip for anything specific, they can. Um, people have tipped us for like vet or Christmas or sometimes they just give us a tip and they don't tell us where they want us to put it specifically and, and this, you let us use it as needed. And that's very helpful. There is going to be a, a couple tips in week two, so we'll talk about, or is it week three? They come out in week, they come in, they came in in week three. So we'll talk about who gave us those tips and where we're gonna use them in week three. Okay, so all together we had $600 to work with. For loan number two, we ended up spending, it was 142, garbage was five, Alliant was 10, and WW was five. These are fixed expenses that aren't covered by David's paycheck, so those rarely change. They're usually always exactly what we budget them to be. So that was a total of 162. So 600 minus 162 is $438. So coming up here to food, to our variable expenses, food was way more than $200. We ended up spending 
which did we end up spending. I think I'm just gonna leave the book like this. It'll be easier for me to see, but I'll zoom so I can see what we spent, but I'm actually, I'll zoom in for you so you can see closer what I'm writing. But for food, all together we spent $473. So that was that large grocery trip that we had on the 5th and then all of the eating at the hospital. Okay, so gas was 20. Okay, so let's talk about miscellaneous for a moment. This is a cash envelope. We took $52 out of our account. We played the savings challenge game and ended up putting 50 of that towards um, our savings challenge envelope. So we put 50 in cash in that envelope, which left us with $2 in cash for miscellaneous. But then we had a couple miscellaneous expenses this week totaling $59 total. So we're gonna go wait, we're gonna go negative. And we're gonna talk about how we're gonna handle that uh, at the end, so just keep watching. <laughs> okay, so spending was exactly 50. So let's see all together what that was. So we had 473 and 20 and 59 and 50. So all together, we had $602. We budgeted 322, so as you can see, we were way over budget. We only had 438 to work with. So 438 minus 602 is negative 164. Um, and I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. If I ever giggle or laugh, I know that disturbs some people. They've, they've told me that, like, why are you laughing or giggling at bad things that happen? Um, it's kind of like a coping mechanism for me. I like laugh when I get nervous or upset. So, so yeah. So I'm not like, I don't think it's funny. I don't think any of this is funny. Okay, so Amazon. So these are the cash envelopes that we stuffed and we actually stuffed all of these before all the craziness happened. So all of that cash was out of our bank account and put into these envelopes. So they, it's gonna add to us going negative. Um, but I could take them out of the envelopes and put them back in the bank, but I'm not gonna do that. So let's just talk, let's just get the numbers and we'll, then we'll talk about the negative. So was three for Amazon, 10 for birthdays, 10 for car maintenance, five for car registration, 25 for Christmas, three for Sam's, $50 for vacation, 10 for vet. So altogether that came to 116. So 164 minus one, 160, 164, negative 164 minus 116 brings us to negative 280. And then we have this 50 here as well, so minus 50. So at the end, we were negative $330 this week, which is probably one of our worst weeks of the year. Well, next to week two, which we will get to as well. Okay, so let's take a closer look at week two. So we're starting out with a negative amount of $330. Now, I normally like to pay myself $600 a month. The way my pay works is we pay, we pay, I pay myself, from my business account. And in my business account, there is income from Etsy, YouTube, Patreon, and some affiliate payments as well. And I try to, no matter how much I have in my bank account, I try to pay myself, I mean, whatever surplus I have in that account, I try to stay on a budget of $600 a week. We were recently making, I think it was 507 a week, and we've upped it to 600. But we currently have a surplus amount of money in the business account because this is our like busy season. This is the amount, this is the time of year where we make a lot of extra money. I would like to save that and use it in the summer when we're not gonna be making as much money because there's an ebb and flow to this business and it does slow down in the summer. But we need it now and we're gonna have to come up with a new strategy for summer later on. So we're ending, we're gonna, we're gonna give ourselves more pay week two and week three, which you'll see. So I have my 600 plus the 330 means that I need, I need to pay myself 930 just to break even theoretically. But again, we went over, so let's just keep going. Okay, so this was actually negative 330 for a negative rollover. We paid ourselves 930 and there was no buy me a coffees. So all together, this came to a positive amount of 600. Okay, loan number two was 142, garbage was five, Alliant was 10. So all together should be 157. 
Okay, 157. So 600 minus 157, that's $443. Okay, coming up here to variable expenses. So food, so food this week, holy cow. We end up spending $519 on food. Gas was 20, miscellaneous. We didn't do a savings challenge for that week. So we didn't take anything out of miscellaneous, but we end up spending more than $52 on miscellaneous items. We end up spending a total of $168 on miscellaneous items. So, and spending was 50. So let's see all together what that was. $757. So we had 443 to work with for a budget. We end up spending 757 which makes a negative amount of $314. So we did not do sinking funds and we did not do savings challenges. So we're gonna take that 314 and start the week three at a negative 314. Okay, so week three is December 15th through December 21st. Okay, so I've decided I wanna change these a little bit. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna add another sinking fund today. So this section needs to be used in this larger section here. And I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna put fixed expenses here and sinking funds here. And even though I do use erasable ink, I thought just to make my life <laughs> easier, I grabbed uh, another budget kit from the shop and I'm just gonna use new stickers and put them right on top of these. So um, income is going to be is fine, we don't need to change that. We have a negative rollover amount that we're gonna have to cover right away of $314. We did receive two buy me, we did receive buy me a coffee from a couple of viewers this week. Shout out to Donna and Deborah. They gave us, all together they gave us $20 and we are going to actually be using that um, in miscellaneous to cover, um, to help us buy stocking stuffers because Christmas is gonna be here before we know it. I like, I was, today we were at the store, I was at the store with David, I'm like, when is Christmas? Like, I've totally lost track of time. Like, I feel like I've been in a time warp. Like, I don't even know what day it is. I, I have no clue. But I need to buy stocking stuffer still, and that money is gonna to go towards helping us do that. Okay, so for my pay, uh, so this is the, the week that we're about to embark on. Nothing has happened yet. I have really good intentions for things to go well. So, I wanna pay myself, so I know all of these things are going to cost $600. So 600 plus 314 means I need to pay myself 914 this week. And then I think this is the last week, this, my plan is this is the last week that I'll be able to do this. After this week, I've gotta go back down to my 600 if I um, want to keep having money in my business account. Okay, so this is going to become, this large section is gonna become my sinking funds. So let's change that. Okay, so I have all the same sinking funds, uh, Amazon, birthdays, car maintenance, car registration, Christmas, Sam's, vacation vet, plus back to school, which I need to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and write all of those down real quick. out nicely so I'm gonna move the I'm gonna make this section my fixed expenses which are just those three bills that I have to pay loan number two garbage and alliant and then this section will be my variable expenses which are food gas miscellaneous and spending okay and then this last section will stay the same is as savings. It'll just be a savings. Okay, so let's fill in the numbers. So negative three fifteen plus nine fifteen and two and twenty. 
makes a total of $620 to work with this week. Let's take a look at our sinking funds. So today, and we're gonna do that in just a second here, we're gonna stuff these cash envelopes. We're gonna put $3 towards Amazon. We're gonna put $7 towards back to school. So where that $7 came from is we, in our last budget, we had $5 for WW in our week one budget. So we're no longer doing WW, so five of that is from that. And then $2 is from our miscellaneous. We were saving, we were doing $52 a week towards miscellaneous, so two of that is going towards back to school. Birthdays is getting $10. Car maintenance is getting 10. Car registration is getting five. Christmas is getting 25. Sam's is getting three. Vacation is getting 50. And vet is getting 10. So let's see all together how much we're gonna to put towards sinking funds today. So $123 is going to go towards that. Okay, so 620 minus 123 is $497. Okay, so we have 497 to work with. 142 is going to go towards loan number two, five is gonna to go towards garbage, and 10 is going to go towards Alliant Energy. So all together, let's see. That's 157 towards our fixed expenses. So 497 minus 157, that's a difference of $340. So coming down here, we're gonna to try to get back on track this week. We're gonna put $200 this week towards food, 20 to gas, towards gas, 50 to miscellaneous. Actually, no, sorry, I didn't change that. We're gonna have 70 towards miscellaneous. So our normal 50 plus the 20 from buy me a coffee. And then for spending money, we have our normal 50. So let's see all together how much that is. So that's $340, which is exactly what we want to happen. We want to hit zero there. Now I'm budgeting zero for the savings challenge, but we're going to do a savings challenge in just a moment here. And part of that $70 is going to go towards our, our savings challenge. Okay, so let's get into the cash envelopes. Okay, so let's start by counting our cash. We should have $313. I'm just going to set this aside and <laughs> add that last. I'm so bad. At adding, at counting with 50s. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So 263 plus 50 would be 313, which is exactly what we want. I'm just gonna get this sorted. Um, you may notice I don't have pretty nails on this week. I just couldn't, you guys. I am I'm tapped out. I just didn't have the time. Even though uh, press-ons are super easy, I literally just, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so we have natural nails this week. I'll bring back the pretty ones next week now that we're getting caught up on everything. So let's start today with the bills. So garbage is going to get $5. Once we get up to $60, then I can deposit this into my account and pay my garbage bill, So, um, which comes out once every three months. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Ooh, so next week, oh wait, no, no, we're doing two weeks. So we're actually doing another five. Sorry, we're gonna do, instead of these two fives, we're gonna do a 10. We're doing 10 because we're covering week number two and week number three. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We need to pay the garbage bill now. So when I have money that needs to go back into my account, what I do is I take my cash envelope wallet, the one that I carry around with me, and I put that money in the back here and that just tells me I need to take this to the bank to deposit it and pay that bill. So we are ready to pay the garbage bill. Okay, so let's move on to Alliant. Alliant is going to get $20 today. 
to make up for week two and week three. So that's $10 for each of those weeks. So 20, 30, 35, 40. Now a lion comes out once a month. We need $40 for that. So I'm gonna add that to the bank because that is now done. And we're not doing WW anymore. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so I don't confuse myself in the future. Okay, well, bills are done and we're ready to pay a couple bills, so that's good. It's always nice to have money to pay the bills. Okay, let's move on to our sinking funds. And I need a back to school one. So let me see if I can peel this off and make a new label and have this be our back to school. Yes, I can. By the way, these beautiful glitter envelopes, they're from Aisha Cash Envelopes. I don't know if she's still making envelopes on Etsy or not. If she is, I love them. I've used them for years. Okay, now we're ready. So Amazon is going to get $3 today. So let's see how much we have all together for Amazon. This is our annual membership. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, back to school. Back to school is going to get $7 today. And we don't have any money in that envelope yet, so we just have the $7. Next up is birthdays. Birthdays gets $10. And we had 10, so now we have 20 in our birthday envelope. Next is car maintenance. So we have, let's see, for car maintenance today, we're gonna add 10. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we have $80 for car maintenance. Next is car registration. Today, we're gonna add $5 towards that. And we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Next is Christmas. This is, um, 20 of this is for food for Christmas, which we will take out next week. We're gonna do one more um, uh, budget and cash envelope stuffing before, act before Christmas actually happens. So we'll do that next week. But today, the rest of it is going towards Christmas for next year. And today we're going to add 25 more dollars. Um, so let's see, let's just, Take a, that's for food for this year. So we've got 20, 40, 45, 50. This year for Christmas, I'm really excited, you guys. <laughs> Especially now that, I mean, Jacob was always going to come anyways, but now he's like living with us. He's going to help me cook. He works in a restaurant. He works in the like kitchen of the restaurant, and he's really into it. And he and I are going to do Christmas together. We're going to make appetizers for the family and desserts. And it's just going to be like an appetizer dessert kind of Christmas dinner. And I think that's going to be really fun. Okay, Sam's Club. This is for our annual membership. Today we're going to add $3. So let's see how much we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dollars. One of the things that Jacob's gonna make, which I've never made, are those Oreo balls. I'm so excited, I love those. <laughs> vacation is going to get $50 today, so now we have $100 towards vacation. That, We'll get $10. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. We have $100 towards VET. Okay. So our sinking funds are done. Let's move on to our cash envelopes, the ones I carry around with me in my wallet. Okay, so I get $20 for spending money, Logan gets $10, and David gets $20. Then for gas, we're going to do $20 for gas, and miscellaneous we're going to do, so we have the $20 from the buy me a coffee, and then we have an additional $50. Uh-oh, why do I have another extra $20? Oh, no. Something's missing $20. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's missing $20. We did all of our envelopes. Okay. Well, 50 is in addition to this 20 makes 70 that we're going to put in this week. And then some of this is going to go towards um, the savings challenge. 
I assume this was supposed to go towards something. I don't know what. Okay, I found the problem. So this is my little like the um, cash envelope sticker. And I was supposed to put $40 towards gas, not 20. It's 20 per week and we're stuffing two weeks worth. So that's $40. So let me go ahead and go back and put that 20 towards gas. Normally it would just be uh, $20 total, but it's 40 total to pay for the two weeks of gas. Okay, <laughs> done with that. Time for the best part, the savings challenge. So this year I have my savings challenge in the same workbook that I'm doing my budget in, which is really cool. The, when I ordered this planner, it had the option to add like a note section at the back, and I'm using that for my savings challenges this year. So we are currently doing the piggy bank savings challenge, and I'm trying to save up for a thousand dollar cushion for my checking account, just to make things like a little bit like, so I can breathe a little bit easier as I pay bills, um, so that I don't have to ever worry about running out of money in my account, that's the goal. So we already have a $500 cushion in there, and then we also have, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have another 160, so we're trying to save another 500. And today we are going to do, um, so I already have $20 in my miscellaneous envelope that's gonna stay no matter what for stocking stuffers. So let's see, we have 50 to pull from. I wanna save at least another 20 for stocking stuffers. So I have a total of 40, so 30, so 50 minus 20 would be 30, 20, 10. Okay, so let's do a 30, a 20. Ooh, I need to grab my 10, just a second. It's in my jar. Okay, so today we're going to stuff either 10, 20, or 30, depending on the number that you guys picked last week. So I'm gonna turn these over and I'm gonna mix them up. Right now is your chance to pick a number for next week. Pick either number one, two, or three. I don't know at this point what denominations I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna do 10, 20, 30 again, or 20, 30, 40, we'll just have to see next week. But pick a number, either one, two, or three, and one of those will be the number that we use for our savings challenge. Okay, so let's see what you picked last time. We had 11 friends pick the number one, 19 people picked number two, and 20 picked number three. Whew, that was a close week, you guys. So number three is the winner. Let's see how much we're gonna put towards our savings challenge this week. Okay, I am totally happy with that. <laughs> because the last least amount of money I put this week, the more money I have to spend on those, uh, the, the stocking stuffers. I'm super excited about that. I'm also, I hope this isn't like too corny, but I've decided to buy myself some stocking stuffers too, because I'm not getting any gifts this year. It's just part of our budgeting strategy. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to have some like little things for myself. So I'm gonna buy myself some stocking stuffers. <laughs> okay, so $10 is going towards the savings challenge. So we need to add a piggy. I also wanna see what those other numbers were. So let's see, wait, 20, 40, 60. So we have, $60 to spend on stocking stuffers. That is awesome. So excited about that. Okay, so let's add our piggy. We're only adding one piggy this week. Each piggy represents $10. So now we have 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 170. Okay, so number two, which was the second highest number was $20 which means number one was 30. So glad it wasn't 30 this week. Some weeks I like to save a lot, and some weeks, depending on what's going on, I don't want to save as much. I want to have money available in the, in the envelope. So we should have 170 here. Let's just count and make sure real quick. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, yes. Okay, so that is it for all the budgeting and cash envelopes. I do have that family health update now, so if you wanna stick around and see that, go ahead and stick around for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys back next week. Hopefully it's just a normal week. Knock on wood, nothing crazy happens. That would be awesome. By the way, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye, everyone.
Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little more information about what's been going on with my family. If you've been around for a while, you know that my youngest son, Logan, who is 11, about to turn 12, he um, has a chronic health condition. We discovered this, gosh, I don't even know how long it's been now, but I already had a YouTube channel and was doing a YouTube channel for, for at least a year, I think, would say, when this came about. And it really, he's had this condition since he was two. We just didn't know what it was and until he was diagnosed just a few years ago. Um, since then, we have decided to homeschool him just to make life easier because he has a lot of doctor's appointments, medications he has to take. It just makes things a lot easier to homeschool him. So that's why he is homeschooled. Uh, besides the fact that I'm a retired teacher and I'm available to do it, just that's just a bonus. We homeschool him because of health reasons. So uh, on Tuesday, December 6th, I went to wake Logan up for breakfast and um, it was a little hard to wake him up and he was just pale and he had these black, like black circles under his eyes. He just, it was scary and he was in a lot of pain and I um, called 911 initially and then I realized like I could just put him in the car and take him to the hospital. So I ended up taking him, driving him to the ER myself and um, took him into the ER and it's and it was it's it's a it was a result of his his health condition that we've been battling. We've we've actually made a lot of progress and he was doing really well. And I wasn't like I was I was shocked. I wasn't prepared for this, even though I've been told and I understand. It's it's chronic. It's lifelong. It's, there'll be good better times. There'll be worse times. Even though I was told that, I just I got comfortable, and I thought like I just thought it was okay. By the way, I'm gonna try really hard not to cry here. I don't think I will cry because I've cried so much over the last couple of weeks that I can't, like, I don't think I have any tears left, you know, you get to that point. Um, so, went to the hospital. We were, I think we were in the ER for about eight hours, and then they moved us to a hospital bed where he was the rest of his stay at the hospital. Um, I'm not gonna get into details by, about the specifics of, of what he is going through because it's his life and his medical journey and if he wants to share that someday then it should be his choice and I don't want to make that choice for him right now so that's why I don't get into details about his, what's going on with him medically um, as far as what like the specifics are but the, what you need to know is he almost died he lived and and uh, while life has completely changed for us and for him um, we are so grateful that he's alive and we're so grateful that, that we have this new life to live, even though it's gonna look very different from our old one. Um, in addition to that, while we were at the hospital, I had actually had my annual mammogram, and uh, the hospital is attached to like where I would get my mammogram, like it's the buildings are attached, so I went ahead and kept that appointment. I canceled all other appointments over the last couple weeks. We had so much going on, as do people this time of year, like just so much going on. I had to cancel everything, but I kept that appointment because it's so hard to reschedule. And um, I'm glad I did because they found a lump and um, actually went back this week for more testing. And the good news, good news is that they're not worried about the lump at this time. And they're just gonna continue to monitor it. They're gonna check it again in six months and then six months after that. So, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I was like, when I was dealing with the Logan thing and then they called me and told me, okay, we found a lump, we have to do more testing. I was like, of course you did, of course you did. Like. That's just the way my week is going. Um, but I didn't allow, like, allow myself to really get too scared about it because I was my whole focus has been on Logan. I've been at the hospital with him nonstop. I, I, I did actually did leave several, I did leave at least once a day every day to take a shower because <laughs> I wanted to be clean. But I took a shower, come home shower, um, checked in on the office. David, after four days in the hospital, David started helping me process orders. I, you know, I, I, I need to work on this in the new year. This is gonna be one of my goals is to work on letting go and letting people help me. I have a very hard time letting people help me and that's no good for me or anybody else. So thank goodness for David. Um, some orders were really far behind by the time they finally went out, um, but they went out. So at this point in time, we have no late orders. We still have open orders, but no late orders. And that's all thanks to David. Could not have been done without his help. So I am home, Logan's here. 
Um, and then also, so David's like, okay, three, you know, bad things happen in three. So first there was Logan, then there was the mammogram. What's the third thing, the third thing going to be? Well, we got a call from Jacob. I don't even know what day that was. At some point, I got a call from Jacob and he and Sierra had broken up. So he's home, he's broken hearted. We're, we're working through that. Um, he's gonna be home with us for a while. He's, uh, you know, they were dating for three years, so quite a long time. And um, I think he's, his plan right now is to stay with us till the summer and then move out in the summer once, uh, like um, in August when, uh, um, uh, what's that called? When like rents start up again. Like there's a season for rents to start and end here because we're in a college town and for him that's August. So that's the plan. Um, we had a lot of unexpected expenses. I'm sure I've talked about this in the video. There was a lot of food expenses, other medical expenses, but there's a whole other expense thing that I, I um, didn't have financial information for in this video. I may have mentioned it. I don't know because I haven't made the video yet. <laughs> filming this first but uh, we did have to get a credit card uh, in order to bring Logan home there was a lot of things that we had to do to prepare our home for him we went to Lowe's and we spent a lot of money on that and we didn't just get stuff from Lowe's we also got stuff from Amazon there's just a bunch of stuff and then when Jacob came he so he works 30 minutes from our house so it used to be like he used to work couple blocks from where his apartment was and where he worked and he loves his job so he doesn't want to get a new job so he commutes and we had horrible weather this week lots of snowstorms and he had a donut on his car so anyways the point being he needed tires he needed all new tires we ended up helping him out with that so we put that on the credit card as well so we have this tire expense all these home repairs I haven't even been online to look at how much everything costed in general, but I was kind of keeping track in my head. And I think altogether this, these latest events cost us $3,000, I think, for everything when everything's said and done. So um, financially, our goal is to, once we get that $1,000 cushion in our account, we were going to do a $1,000 emergency fund, which would have been helpful in this case, but not even been enough to cover everything that came up. But um, instead of doing that, we're gonna really focus on getting this debt paid off right away. So those are our financial focuses for this year. Um, yeah, that's it. So much, so much. Um, so when we got home from the hospital, Logan and I sat down with David and we were just having a conversation about what life is going to be like now, what it's gonna look like, what it's going to be like, and how it's going to be different from before. Um, and Logan was pretty sad about that. And then David had a really good point I feel like David explained it really well to Logan to help put things in perspective, both for him, both for him and for me. I think in general, when people have life-changing events happen, there is a grief period for your old life as you are establishing your new life. And uh, but David, David's explanation to Logan was: think of it as like a science fiction film where there's like different dimensions. In one dimension, nothing happens. Logan's been totally fine and we're just living that life. And then in, the, in another dimension, we had this hospital stay and everything has changed. And now our, we're in a different trajectory for life and um, that's okay. We're just gonna have to accept it and stop like asking or wondering when life's gonna go back to the way it was because it's not. We're now on a new path and we're going to embrace it and make the best of it. Okay, friends, I'm actually so, like, I, I might seem tired and I'm exhausted, but I'm so glad to be home. I'm so glad to have all my babies home. Jacob's here, Logan's here, David's here. We're all safe, we're all healthy, and everything's gonna be okay. So even though I'm like really tired right now, like I'm still feeling good because I know everything's gonna be okay. Thank you guys so much for all of your your messages and your kind words and everything. Like, it, oh, you guys are the best, you're the best. And I'm so lucky, thank you. I will see you guys again next time. Bye everyone.